Hello children. Let us learn about nutrition in plants. Oxygen is released during photosynthesis, which is taken up by organisms for respiration. Green plants are called autotrophs. They require sunlight, carbon dioxide, water and chlorophyll for making food by the process of photosynthesis. Plants store food in the form of starch. Parasitic plants derive food from another green plant called the host. Saprotrophs do not possess chlorophyll. Some organisms live in association with another to obtain food. This kind of association is called symbiosis. Chlorophyll is essential for photosynthesis. Take a variegated leaf like that of garden crotons or coleus. Boil the leaf in a test tube containing alcohol in a water bath. Test tube containing alcohol is not heated directly as it may catch fire. On heating, slowly alcohol will turn green and the leaf will lose its color. This is called a denatured leaf. It is necessary to remove green color of the leaf before testing it for starch as the green color masks the color change that shows the presence of starch. Wash the denatured leaf gently with water. Then dip it in iodine solution and keep it for some time. You will observe that only those portions of the leaf which were green turn blue-black in color. The non-green parts remain as before. This shows that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis. Light is necessary for photosynthesis. Take a healthy green potted plant. Keep it in the dark for 5 to 6 hours so that the plant can utilize the food, starch it has already prepared. This is called destarching. Select a leaf from the plant and fix a strip of black paper on it with the help of paper clips. Now leave the plant in sunlight for a few hours. Then pluck the leaf and remove the black paper strip and test it for starch as discussed above. The portion of the leaf that was wrapped in the strip will not turn blue-black. This is because food was not prepared in this part of the leaf as it did not receive any sunlight. This shows that sunlight is essential for photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide is needed for photosynthesis. Select a plant which has long leaves. Keep it in the dark for 5 to 6 hours so that it gets destarched. Then take a wide mouthed bottle. Put some sodium hydroxide solution in it. This solution absorbs carbon dioxide. Take a leaf from the plant and introduce half of one leaf into the bottle through a split cork. Keep the apparatus in sunlight for a few hours. Then, remove the leaf and test it for starch. You will see that the portion of the leaf which was inside the bottle did not turn blue-black whereas the part that was outside the bottle gave a blue-black color with iodine. The part of the leaf which was inside the bottle did not get carbon dioxide, hence could not perform photosynthesis.